poll finds 56% of voters think the country is better off than it was four eons ago. A brutally honest new Revlon ad campaign reminds customers you can't change who you are, and a bodybuilder's veins are now outside of his skin. Bolder, sleeker, and three times as powerful as your father ever was, this is The Onion Week in Review. An alarming UN report on magical realism released this week warns of increased incidences of women's tears flooding the entire world. A UN committee linked the catastrophic phenomena to matronly widows, commonly named Tita and Esmeralda, who wept for up to 90 days on end about their estranged lovers. Just consider how detrimental it is to a nation's workforces to have thousands of its plantation overseers simply disappear appear one night into the midsummer fog, only to return decades later without having aged a single day. Put simply, if such phenomena are not immediately halted, the effects on the international community will be catastrophic. The nation's limo drivers spent a magical prom night playing scratch-off tickets in the parking lot this week. According to sources, chauffeurs nationwide began their enchanting evening by cramming swank magazines into their glove compartments before dropping off their students at a school gym, working through a stunning assortment of lotto cards, and dining upon a wide range of microwave heated taquitos from a nearby 7-Eleven. A study published this week found that most serial killers developed their homicidal tendencies after not receiving a toy each time they asked for one as children. The first time I remember having the urge to kill was when I was eight, right after my parents wouldn't buy me the Omega Hyper Warp. I remember my dad saying, not now, son. And then I went straight home, took the cat out into the garage and peeled off its skin. The release was extraordinary. And in this week's local news, puberty is absolutely teen off on an area teen. In other news, the nation's sisters issue their annual report on how to deal with dad. A newborn is soothed by the familiar sound of its parents bickering, and an Airbnb user loves how easy the website makes it to ejaculate into a stranger's sink. How did you feel after watching this? Satisfied? Relieved? Content? My name is Scott McKay, and though I'm medically unable to feel, I've been told that experiencing these emotions during our review is perfectly normal. Now keep up to date by checking theonion.com.